Hey there Marvel Legends fans, this is Wesatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hasbro's Marvel Legends Iron Man figure from uh, Return of Marvel, Marvel Legends Series 3. Um, this series did not have a Build-A-Figure, so they all included the uh, Heroscape style stands. Um, same basic package type as the other Marvel Legends that Hasbro's been releasing to this point uh, in the Return of Marvel Legends series. There's this great art up here on the uh, top, which is uh, kind of uh, revisited on the back with a better picture. You see it's got some really, really nice stuff in there. Very, very nice artwork. A little bit of a bio, not really much, but... Down here you've got the cross cells for the other figures in the wave. Uh, we've reviewed several of them, but not uh, Mystique over there, which uh, I may review her also since I still have her in package as well. So um, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Why don't we get this guy out and see what he's like. So here's Iron Man out of packaging doing a basic repulsor blast uh, pose. As you can see, I've got him posed on his stand, um, which uh, part of the reason for that is because the articulation in his boots is uh, a little sticky, but we'll get to that in a little bit. This is the uh, stand, Hero Escape, same as all the others, so very nice. Um, now, this has been, I think, most commonly referred to as the Neo Classic armor, um, and it's, uh, I think he got it in the 90s, uh, and it predated the modular armor to an extent. Um, so there's been a little bit of, uh, at least from the pictures that I looked up, because I wanted to make sure I was displaying them right, there seems to be um, some inconsistency about where these openings are supposed to be. I've seen some that show them kind of to the back, um, but most are from the side. And judging from the way that the uh, boot kind of curves up just a tad right there, I'm thinking that they're using the uh, like Marvel Universe Guide version, which has them to the side there. So, um, and he's also been shown with the same armor with smaller boots, so, uh, I believe these are, uh, in the correct position now, but if you, uh, disagree, let me know. So, basically, figure looks outstanding. Um, I kind of expected them to, like, reuse some parts here, but, uh, all of this appears to me, at least, to be, uh, new pieces, which is very, very cool. Uh, I'd heard that this was going to be part of the, uh, old Iron Man line, like from the movies or something like that, but um, I don't see any parts for use, and uh, he looks fantastic. He's got the uh, great bucket head design, um, kind of the, the real thick, stocky head, which I think is very, very cool. Uh, great paint apps. Uh, they've got a nice metallic color to the gold and the red. The only place that I see that uh, the red isn't really... Um, metallicized is here on the shoulder pads which is kind of a, just a flat plastic red not a big deal um, nice big gold uh, uh, thing <laughs> uh, the power thing I'm completely blanking on it um, but uh, looks very nice uh, not a whole lot of like extra paint detail on these I mean it's painted pretty much from head to toe uh, in terms of just the the colors but the, the detail is just left to that, which is works for Iron Man because, you know, he's just, he, he should be clean and pretty. Um, very nice details in the hands here. Uh, I have to wonder if at one point these were designed um, to come with extra hands because the hands do pop out fairly easily. And you can see there's just a simple peg in the hole system there. So I have to wonder if he was supposed to come with other hands originally. They, they don't appear to be the same as the uh, two-pack Iron Man hands, so... Um, at first I thought they were and that they were just going to be swapped out that way, but it doesn't appear to be so. So, um, articulation-wise, very nice on the boots. Oh, by the way, yeah, the bottom of the boots, uh, sculpted, not painted except for the uh, red color, but do have pick holes. So, articulation-wise, he does not have the great hinge joint in his neck that uh, these figures have been getting of late, but he does have a ball-jointed neck. So you get a little bit up and down. There we go. A little bit side to side, not a whole lot. It's very restricted by the sculpt. Um, and then, you know, your standard swivel action, which could probably, yeah, go all the way around. His uh, head, uh, the ball inside the head, is uh, just a tad smaller than on the other figures. So you can put Tony Stark from the two-pack's head on there, but it just kind of rests there. Um, the Bleeding Edge Iron Man helmet fits pretty well. Uh, and kind of looks neat, but I think it's a little oversized still. 
Um, we've got hinges in the shoulder pads so that they move up and down to help reduce uh, friction with the articulation in the shoulders, which are swivel hinge joints, so they can go forward, back, and then out. They can actually go a pretty good ways up, but you know, once you get up to a certain point, they kind of look silly pushing the armor up. So, um, I think if I was, if I were um, Mattel, if I were Hasbro, I probably would have just made these part of the arm and tried to like fudge the look as best I could and then just have them on their own hinge. But that might have upset people. They might have liked the sculpt to be preserved when the arms are down. So I understand the decision perfectly. Um, we've got swivels in the biceps, of course, all the way around. Um, we've got hinges, double hinges in the uh, elbow. So first hinge only goes to about there. I think they could have cut that a little deeper because the second hinge only goes here, which is just slightly more than 90 degrees. I think if they had cut this top hinge a little higher into the arm, uh, you could have gotten his arm much closer to his shoulder. So not the end of the world, but um, I think it's they could have designed it a little bit better. Um, we've got uh, swivels in the glove tops here. So uh, it does slant a little bit, so if you want to put the uh, the low end on the front, you might get a little bit, mm, not really, not much more motion out of the arm. Um, we've got swivel hinges in the wrists, so very nice in and out motion, and of course all the way around. Uh, nice ab crunch in the middle here. So forward, not too much, but back you got quite a good deal. They probably could have cut this a little higher to make better room for that. Um, swivel waist. We've got the uh, hinges at a 45 degree angle in the hips. So you have to kind of move them out and then swivel them around, which I never really like, but this, as I understand it, was designed a little... Uh, a while back as opposed to more recently. I don't see a time stamp on there. Uh, well this one says 2012. So maybe he wasn't part of an older series. I don't know. But um, I would have preferred the newer style that they're going with. Uh, one thing to be careful with the way this paint is done on these things is that you can get rub. Uh, I had the same thing happen on my uh, uh, old uh, two-pack Iron Man's. You know you gotta watch out because this paint will rub right off where it rubs inside the uh, plastic there so that's a bummer and you gotta watch out for it because it's really easy and it kinda ruins the look of the gold I mean it, it stands out quite a bit um, swivels in the tops of the thighs double hinge knees first point gets you almost a 90 oh, right at, at a 90 degree bend on its own and then double point very very nice great range um, got swivels in the tops of the boots which is kind of silly because you've also got swivels down here in the uh, ankles. And then they are hinged, as you can see there, but the design of the boot is so tough that you're going to get almost nothing out of them. Um, so you can move them like that or that. I mean, you you just don't have a whole lot of range with them. Um, I probably would have dropped them down a little bit and just put them on a true ball, ball joint, and then I would have had in and out too, but, you know, I'm not Hasbro. And again, it's a it's a sculpt versus articulation issue. Some people probably prefer it the sculpt to just look perfect and not worry about how he can stand. But uh, you know, he's he's got big thick legs, so he's going to be able to stand up pretty easily. But once you start doing action poses and you realize you can't move his ankles, um, it gets a little silly. But luckily, you got the stand, so that's not bad. So uh, I got this guy in uh, a case from BBTS, uh, the Wave Three case. And uh, I think they ended up being about uh, 14, 14 or 1450 a piece, um, which is a great price. Uh, you know, they, they only come with a stand, so that's a bummer, but that is the state of uh, the toy world today for 14 or $15, because you can still f find them in some stores for about 15 bucks. Um, you can uh, you get a great action figure with awesome articulation, great sculpt, great paint job. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can really go wrong with this figure if you like the design of the armor. I know everybody's got their own preference on what they like. This was more my era. Of course, the uh, modular armor is number one probably for my era growing up. Um, but uh, I don't see Hasbro remaking that design anytime soon. I'd love to see it. That's the one armor I'd like to see redone because it's impossible to find the uh, Toy Biz version for a decent price because everybody wants it. But... um yeah, 15 bucks. Nice, nice deal on this. Uh, good job. No accessories except for Iron Man himself, um, who uh, is not accessorized. <laughs> so um, if they'd included like some kind of, I don't know, gun or extra hands or something, something to 
make him stand out a little bit. Power effects, that would have been really cool. Um, magnetic uh, clip-on piece here for the uh, repulsor would have been cool. Um, or what is it called? The, the Unibeam. That would have been neat, but, you know, you get what you get. So uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to put them in the box below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thanks to all the new subscribers and commenters. I really appreciate you guys coming out, checking everything out, and leaving your thoughts behind. Uh, I'd like to hear what you think about this figure, so drop it in the box below. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.